Question 1. Suppose that you can buy $1.25 for £1. How many dollars could you buy with £500? So we've got the ratio here that £1 is equivalent to $1.25. If we want £500, we've multiplied by 500 times. So we need to do the same to this side. So here we need 500 times 1.25. That's the same as a 25% increase, which is equivalent to $625. Question 2. At the current exchange rate, £1 is equivalent to $1.25. How much is $30 worth in pounds? We've got the ratio here. £1 is equivalent to $1.25. If we want $30 in pounds, we've already been given the dollars, and we need to calculate pounds. So let's reverse this exchange rate. $1 is equivalent to 1 over 1.25 pounds. What we've done here is we've divided both sides of the ratio by 1.25. That gives 1 here and 1 over 1.25. Right. Next, I'm going to convert this into a fraction to make it a little bit easier. 1.25 is equivalent to 5 quarters, so 1 divided by that is 4 fifths. So 4 fifths of a pound is equivalent to $1. Now we need $30, so that's 30 lots of 4 fifths. 30 times 4 fifths, well, 1 fifth of 30 is 6. 6 lots of that is 6 times 4, which is £24. Pounds. Question 3. In a football squad of 25 players, 5 of the players are above the age of 30. What percentage of the squad are older than 30? So we know that 5 of the players are above the age of 30. That's 5 out of 25. First, let's simplify that. So we get 1 over 5, and we want to convert this to a percentage. 1 over 5 is 0 0.2, so we multiply by 100 to get 20%. Question 4. As a rough approximation, 5 miles is equal to 8 kilometers. Using this approximation, how many kilometers are there in 350 miles? We have the ratio here of 5 miles to 8 kilometers, and we want the ratio of 350 miles to whatever that is in kilometers. We notice here that the ratio on this side has been multiplied by 70. 5 times 35 would be 7, so 5 times 70 has to be 350. So that means we should do the same to the other side to keep an equivalent. 8 times 7 is 56, so that means 8 times 70 must be 560 kilometers. Question 5. Suppose that one unit of currency A is equivalent to 33 units of currency B. How many units of currency B are there in 23 units of currency A? So let's look at the ratios. 1 to 33. This side must have been multiplied by 23. 1 times 23 is 23. So to get the equivalent amount of units of currency B, we need to multiply 33 by 23. So 23 times 33, 3 times 3, that's 9, 20 times 3, that's 60, 3 times 30, that's 90, and 20 times 30, that would be 600. Let's add all those up, 9, 15, 1 to carry over, 6 and 1, 759. Question 6. A cyclist sets off on his journey at 10.30. He travels at an average speed of 15 miles per hour. His journey is exactly 20.93 kilometers in distance. Using the approximation that 8.05 kilometers is equal to 5 miles, what time did the cyclist complete his journey if he did not stop for a break? First, let's figure out what 20.93 kilometers is in miles. 
To do this, we need to find what number we've multiplied by to get from 8.05 to 20.93. So we'll do that by dividing 20.93 by 8.05, which gets us 2.6. Let's do the same to the other side. So 5 times 2.6 is 13 miles. Next, we need to use our speed distance time to calculate how long it's taken. So we know that time is distance over speed. So we have 13 miles divided by 15 miles per hour. That gives us approximately 0 0.86 recurring. However, at the moment, this is a fraction of an hour. So what we need to do is multiply 13 over 5 by 60 to get the time in minutes, which is 52 minutes. Our final step, he set off at 10.30, so we need to add 52 minutes, which means he completes his journey at 11.22. Question 7. An employee sets off to work at 9 o'clock. He travels to work by car at an average speed of 50 miles per hour. He travels a total distance of 120.75 kilometers on his journey to work. Using the approximation that 8.05 kilometers is equal to 5 miles, what time did the employee arrive at work? First, let's convert this 120.75 kilometers into miles. We need to know the number that we've multiplied this side of the ratio by to get this. So we do a division the other way around. So 120.75 divided by 8.05. That's multiplied by 15. We do the same to this side of the ratio. 5 times 15, that's 75 miles, is equivalent to 120.75 kilometers. Our next step is to work out the time that it took. Time is distance over speed. And we know the distance is 75 miles, and the speed is 50 miles per hour, which is 1.5. This is the time in hours, currently, so we need to change to minutes. 1.5 hours is 90 minutes, or we could call that 1 hour 30 minutes. Finally, if you set off at 9 o'clock, and we need to add on 1 hour 30, well then he arrives at 10.30. Question 8. A fitness enthusiast takes part in sponsored runs for charity. She completes exactly one run per week. Over the past 8 weeks she has completed the following runs. Using the approximation that 8 kilometres is equal to 5.12 miles, how many miles has the, has the runner ran in total over the past eight weeks? Give your answer rounded to one decimal place. So we have our ratio eight kilometers to 5.12 miles. Once we've got our total number of kilometers and total number of miles, we'll be able to do this conversion to convert them all into miles. So let's add these up. Five plus 10 plus 15 plus four plus seven is the total number of kilometers which is 41 kilometers, and we have 5 plus 2 plus 3, 10 miles. So to convert 41 kilometers into miles, let's consider this ratio up here. 41 kilometers. So to get from 8 kilometers to 41, from 8 kilometers to 41 kilometers, we need to check what that multiplier was. So we've multiplied by 5.12. So we'll have to do the same from here to here. So 5.12 miles times 5.12. 5.12 times 5.125 is 26.24 miles. In total, 26.24 plus 10 equals 36.24 miles. However, we need that to one decimal place, so it's 
mile. Question 9. A businessman wishes to convert £1,618.20 into American dollars ahead of his visit to New York. The businessman is told that he must first convert his money into euros and then convert the euros into dollars. Using the conversion chart below, how many dollars does the businessman get for his £1,618.20? So first, we need to make a conversion from pounds into euros. We're given that the ratio is 87 pence equals 1 euro. So, to get this into pounds to euros, we need to divide by 0.87. On the left-hand side, we're going to have 1 pound. On this hand side, we'll have 1 over 0.87. Now, we need to convert our £1,618.20 which is the same as multiplying the 1 over 0 0.87 by that 1618.2 So let's do that. 1 divided by 0 0.87 times 1618.2 which is 1,860 euros. Now let's do the same, but for dollars. We know one dollar equals 0.93 euros. So that means that one euro equals one over 0.93 dollars. Multiply one over 0.93 by our 1,860 euros. One divided by 0.93. which is $2,000. Question 10. Two friends each take part in a sponsored cycle for charity. The friends are sponsored 50p for every kilometre that they cycle. The cycle route is 60 miles in length and both friends successfully travel the full journey. In euros, how much money did the two friends raise in total? Give your answer rounded to the nearest euro. So first we're going to use the conversion 5 miles is 8 kilometers. We have 60 miles, which is the result of multiplying this side of the ratio by 12. So to do the conversion, we'll multiply the other side by 12, which is 96 kilometers. One friend gets sponsored 50 pence, or 0.5 pounds, per kilometer. So that's 48 pounds in total. Now we need to use the ratio of euros. We're given that 1 euro is equivalent to 0.87 pounds. So that means that 1 pound is equivalent to 1 over 0.87 euros. If we have 48 pounds, that's the same as 48 times 1 over 0.87 euros. Which is about 55.17 euros. It's 48 pounds. We have two friends, so this amount needs to be doubled, which gives us 110 euros, 34 in total. To the nearest euro, that's just 110 euros.